um, and welcome back to Vitality's Happy Half Term. If you're already just joining us, um, then we've got loads of things to keep you happy, keep you healthy and keep you busy during the half term break. Um, and there's loads of giveaways and prizes to be won as well. So make sure that you tag us in um, on all your activities and pictures and things that you're doing during this week. Um, we'd love to see them. And yeah, make sure you use the hashtag Vitality Half Term. Hello everyone and welcome back to day six to, of Vitality's Half Term Series. My name is Jamie and I'm one of the Vitality Coaches. Hopefully you've been joining us throughout the week and you've seen me a couple of times already. So I hope you're all doing well. We've made it to the weekend. Hopefully you've had a good week. You're all feeling positive um, and you're ready to have a little bit of fun today. So this week we've been up to all kinds of things. We've been doing loads of physical activity. We've been talking about mental well-being. But today is a highlight for me because it's all about food. So hopefully you've got your ingredients ready, you've got your ovens on and you're just raring to go and get cooking. So thankfully, we've got a few really, really special guests joining us today who are going to lead us through this. We're going to be asking some questions along the way as well. So make sure that you join in via the hashtag, send us your pictures of how you're getting on and you also send in any questions or comments and we'll make sure they come up on screen for you as well. So for today's special guest, we've actually got some of the Vitality Performance Champions. And first up, we have Lizzie Simmons, who is a swimmer. If you've never seen her before, she's got the longest arms I have ever seen. Hopefully she'll give us a little sneak peek of that. Um, but Lizzie is actually a double Olympian. So she went to the Beijing Olympics in 2008 when she was 17 years old. And then after that, she also competed at London as well. So she's a bit of a superstar, double European champion, 13 times British champion and also current British record holder. So Lizzie, I'm going to go see if I can find you right now. Are you there? There you Hi are. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I don't think my camera lens is like quite wide enough no. to show the arm span, but uh, yeah. we'll see if we can get it in later. <laughs> I think that's the sign. So Lizzie, how are you getting on? I'm really good, thank you. I'm really excited for this. I'm getting hungry and I'm looking forward to um, getting a pizza. I know it's, it seems like we're coming up to that kind of that time of day. And, and Lizzie, I know you're obviously, you know, you've, you've got such a, a huge history in, in sport, but food, you, I know you're a big foodie. So um, you're going to actually be playing the lead of head roll today. We've given you um, all the range. You're going to teach everyone how to make these healthy pizzas. Are you up for the job? I'm definitely up for the job. It's going to be super quick, super easy. In fact, I think the hardest part about this challenge is going to be me keeping this t-shirt white. Yeah, so fingers no crossed, chance. if we no. manage that, then that's going to be a win. I really hope you don't manage that, if I'm honest with you, Lizzie. <laughs> um, as well as Lizzie, we've also got another one of the performance champions. We have James Hudson joining today. So James um, is a bit of a rugby union legend. He's played for Bath, London Irish, Newcastle and Gloucester. And he now is a performance uh, nutritionist at Gloucester Rugby as well. And James has brought a couple of special guests with him today as well. I'm just going to see if we can bring him up now. James, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks, Jamie. How are you? I'm all good, thank you. I see you've got, is this Barnaby and Wilby you've got alongside us today? I have got two hungry young boys ready here nice. to join in and make some pizzas with us, yeah. Perfect, wicked. Well, we're looking forward to it. So, I think I'm right in saying, is Barnaby seven and Wilbur is four, nearly five? Yes, he is okay. nearly five at the end of the month. All right, perfect. The boys, we need your help today. Um, make these pizzas as impressive as you can for everyone watching. Um, so as well as Lizzie and James, we also have uh, another another super special guest. Um, we've got Indy, who is, um, she's quite famous. If you haven't seen her already, I might have already popped her up on screen once. But Indy is actually our youngest guest. There she is, set and ready to go. Indy, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. What do you say, Indy? <laughs> there she is. Indy says, let's get cooking. And if Indy says that, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pass over now to you two, Lizzie and James, um, and you can lead us through the rest of this session. I'll catch up with you as soon as those pizzas get in the oven, OK? <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah, then. So, First thing that we are going to do, if you haven't done so already, make sure that your oven is on high. We are going to only put these pizzas in for a few minutes, so the oven needs to be on hot. So if you've not done that already, get that done right now. And what we're going to do first up is we're going to make a super, super quick tomato sauce. And I'm going to try as hard as I can to not get it on my T-shirt. 
So we're going to need a pan on the heat, on a medium kind of heat, and we're going to grab a clove of garlic. You can chop this up, but I'm just going to grate it into the pan. So a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil into the pan there. Let it get warm for a, um, a couple of seconds, and then we're going to grate our garlic straight into the pan. Yeah, I have an able helper here stirring his garlic. Brilliant, I like it. Are you going to be doing any cooking today, James, or are you uh, getting your sous chefs to, to help delegation. out? Delegation, delegation. Very is good. good, very good. <laughs> Okay, so grate that into the pan. And we're going to give that a couple of minutes just sizzling in that oil, just to cook that down that garlic for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to go in with our can of tomatoes. I found these in the back of the, uh, the cupboard. I'm hoping they're tomatoes. Uh, chopped tomatoes or plum tomatoes, either are fine. Passata works well. Even a bit of tomato puree is good. What have you got there, James? I've just got a nice can of passata there, which I'm going to put in with the nice. Garlic. I love the sauce. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at here. I heard that sizzle. That was fantastic. <laughs> okay, so once you've given your garlic a minute or so, it's going to start to smell absolutely fantastic. How are you doing there, Mindy? Look at that. You're a few steps ahead of us. Fantastic. <laughs> you look ready to go. Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so in with our chopped tomatoes or plum tomatoes or passata like James. And we're going to sizzle that down for a few minutes until it's kind of spreadable consistency, ready to go on top of our pizzas. Okay, so we've got our tomatoes sizzling on a medium kind of heat, bubbling down to the consistency that we want. We obviously need to put in a few flavoring seasonings on top of there. So we're gonna put some salt, some pepper in. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of oregano in. Have you got any herbs, James? Yes, I've got, got a little basil. bit. Of, we've got basil, haven't we, Pam? We've got we've basil. Got little, yeah, a little bit of frozen basil. Too so bright. really good um, to keep in the freezer because you don't need to get nothing fresh. Dried herbs or frozen herbs as well are brilliant, really easy things to add into the sauces as well. So we've just put a bit of frozen basil in. And finally, he's going to give that stir now. Good man. Brilliant. And how how do you do? You just freeze those in little bags, or do you put them in an ice cube tray, or how do you do that with the basil in the freezer? I've never heard of that before. That's such a good idea. Um, well, yeah. Sometimes you always end up buying fresh herbs, and you don't end up using all of it. And rather than it going to waste, you can pop it in an ice cube tray with a little bit of water and freeze it that way, or just in a little sandwich bag, plastic bag in the freezer, and chop it up. But it stops the waste. Nice. And it means you've got it there spare for when you want something quick. I am definitely going to do that at some point. That's such a good idea. So I'm going to put a little bit of oregano in. I just had this dried in, in the cupboard because I've not got the freezer tactic down yet. <laughs> How's your sauce doing? Good. Good. Is it thickening up? It smells good. You can stir for me. Oh, yeah, it smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> good boy. It work, pal. That's it. Yeah, bubbling away nicely. So hopefully it will be thick enough soon. Guys, we need it. Okay, fantastic. So let's so whilst this is bubbling down then, let's take a look at our basis. Now I had some fajitas earlier in the week. So I just grabbed one of these leftover wraps that I had from my fajitas. I'm gonna be using one of those. What have you got there, Barnaby? A pizza base. Yeah, we've got very little, good. And we've got a couple of um, sort of flatbread pizza breads as well to use. So a couple of things nice. Like from okay, and have you got have you got a tray ready to bung those in the oven? We have. I guess we somewhere. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, cool. So I've grabbed a tray here. I've just put some uh, a little bit of olive oil on some foil just to make sure it doesn't stick. So I'm ready to go now. Of course, you could use pizza bases. You could use pizza bread. Tortilla wraps like I've got there. Where's I can't see Indy. What's Indy got? What have you got? You've got a pizza base as well. Are you excited, Indy? Give us a thumbs up. Are you excited? Does it smell? Does it? Does it smell good, Indy? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So those sauces are bubbling down. They are almost ready to go. Someone's asked the question, who could eat more pizza, Lizzie or James? That is a dangerous game to play. I'm not too sure. It's definitely that. You think? I you think, think you could do it, Barnaby. You think yeah, you, I could do it easily. <laughs> do you reckon? It. Do you reckon you could have me? I, I reckon <laughs> when he's been running around all day, he can, he can, uh, he can certainly eat it. Uh, um, if you offer me a um, pepperoni stuffed crust pizza, <laughs> I'm up for it. Nice, nice. <laughs> So whilst this is bubbling down, let's take a look at what we're going to put as our topping. So what are you guys going for? What have you got to, to put well, on top of your got, pizzas? Popped up bits of chicken, yeah. some salami, Very nice. prosciutto ham, some chopped up bits of ham. Yeah, so we've got a few bits oh. of them. And then also, if I can sneak them past him, I've got a, we've got a few roasted <laughs> vegetables left over no, from, no, from, no, from no, the no, week. No. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Love it. Sneak them past him. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go. So James obviously got a, a meat feast going on in that household. I'm going to go for a, um, a veggie pizza. So I've got some leftover veggies that I steamed yesterday, some broccoli and some um, asparagus that I'm going to put on mine. I've got some sun dried tomatoes, which have been sitting in a jar in the fridge. So I'm going to put some of those on and I'm going to have a go at putting an egg on my pizza. It could turn out terribly, but we're going to go for it. What James? What you're you're a superstar nutritionist. What should people be going for when they think about the balance of ingredients on top of their pizzas? Well, the great thing with pizza is the bases tend to have lots of energy foods in, so lots of carbohydrate in them to so power us through all of our activity, our exercise. So that's always a good start. And then obviously, if we can get some veggies in there as well, either hidden amongst the sauce, or we can always blitz those together with the tomato sauce. And then we've got our protein rich foods to have on top as well. So again, those choices we talked about, some nice little bits of leftover lean meats uh, and things like that. You can always put tuna on as well, which is a great shout. You've, you've talked about popping an egg on yours as well. So getting a bit of protein with there as well is a great idea. Fantastic, brilliant. So it's time for us to check in with Indy. Indy, what have you got on top of your pizza? What are you gonna put on? What ingredients have you got? I want to put some. Chicken on. You're gonna put some what on? Chicken on. You're gonna put some chicken on. Oh, delicious! <laughs> Absolutely yummy, yummy. And what else have you got on? You know, like I've got some tomatoes on there as well. Is that right? Yeah. The tomatoes. Oh, yummy. Um, I, and you can put some I cheese on too. I don't on yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Indy's definitely a few steps ahead. I wonder whether Indy should have been the head chef for this. <laughs> fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, okay, so are we almost ready to get building? Yes, I think our sauce is nice. Okay, and good ready. stuff. Indy's a few, few steps ahead, but let's get going with our um, pizza building. So we obviously want to go on with a little bit of our sauce first. Um, so let me just turn the heat off there. And I think the trick here is to not put too much sauce on our pizza because we're going to end up with a soggy bottom, which nobody wants. So not too much of our sauce on, just a little bit on the top. It should be a nice consistency to spread round now. And then we can start arranging our toppings, which I know India's already done. She can't wait to get that pizza into the oven. This is where it all goes quiet because everybody's concentrating. <laughs> right, you can pop some on that as well. Yeah. Right, yeah. And what and what kind of cheese have you guys got on the top? Because there's lots of different options for, for cheese on top of a pizza. What have you gone for today? Mozzarella. Yeah, we've got a little mozzarella. Bit of mozzarella. Very nice, very nice. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of parmesan first, actually. A little bit of parmesan and then a bit of mozzarella on after that too. This is the exciting bit. Right, do you want to put your, put some meat on yours? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put one bit of this in the middle. Yeah. Put that in the middle. Yeah, lovely. Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. 
We're going, we've got precision placement going. Yeah, <laughs> very good, very good. Right. Barnaby, are you, are you trying to leave no room for the vegetables? <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tactic. He's highly skilled in this. He's had a lot of practice. Right, you going to put a bit more? Um, bit more? I'm going to put two bits more together. Yeah. I'm kind of doing a bag. It's... Two bits of mozzarella, either or three. Yeah, oh, that's three. Yeah, put them in the gaps. That's it. Pop this is in. very precise pizza making. I'm very, very impressed. Face Mine's a bit more. Just throw it on the top. No. Yeah, I think mine will definitely be more like that. <laughs> a bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I might be the only one using the vegetables, but <laughs> I've just got some leftover roasted peppers and courgettes and things from from a pasta dish. So. That's going to go on. Awesome. Right. Brilliant. And pizza, pizza is such an easy way to use those leftovers as well, isn't it, James? So cooking a few more in the evening and then having a super healthy lunch, such, such an easy way to get some veggies in. Yeah, exactly. Anything you've got left over, you can always blend, like I said, you can always blend it with the tomato sauce, which will make it nice and thick. And then also you're, you're hiding some veggies as well to get them past some of the, the less, the less uh, adhering uh, people. Yes. Ways, not just kids, it's all of us can do with eating a few more veggies. So it's a nice Absolutely. way of doing that. So. But yeah, as long as you've got the bases, as long as you've got something for a base, you can always knock these together quite easily from, from lots of little bits around the house. Yeah. So let's see. Have you have you put yours in? Can we see it before it goes in? Right, Brian, are you gonna hold yours up, pal? Oh yeah, we've got the. Oh wow! Look at that. That is ready to go. Ready to go in. Right, you gonna pop yours in as well, pal? I haven't right. made one of. You haven't you haven't made yours yet? No, I haven't made mine, but I have made a pizza all by myself. Luckily, it only takes a couple of minutes to do it if you want to make one. So here's mine. So I've got my veggies on the top. I'm not quite sure about this egg. I'm going to go for it though. I'm going to. I'm going to give it a go. Sort of keep a little moat around the outside. Yeah. Do you, do you reckon put it on? Do you reckon put it on now, or do you reckon cook it for a bit first? I reckon just go for it and get it on. Get it just on. Go now. for it. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that! Indy, is that ready to go in the oven? Is that ready to go in? That looks fantastic. That looks so yummy. Are you gonna? Are you gonna eat that all to yourself? Yeah, she, too, too excited to answer that question. Okay, I'm going to go with the egg. It's gone on. Nice. And we're going in the oven. <laughs> I think if you get it on early, it minimises the in and out of the oven. I reckon it'll, it'll yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> what's the worst thing that you've had on a pizza? That's a good question. Um, well, some people aren't a big fan of the ham and pineapple combo. What are your thoughts on that, James, Barnaby and Wilbur? It's controversial, but it's... Ham and pineapple? Got, yes, I, no? I, was, um, I love it. <laughs> We've got a big fan. I, I think it's a bit controversial. I prefer just your yeah, sort of meat and cheese based ones, but... Yeah. yeah, nice, nice. What about you, Wilbur? Do you like pineapple do you like ham? ham? Do you like ham and pineapple? I like pineapple and ham and not... Much. Um. I think we've got some fans. <laughs> right, I'm gonna pop this one in the in the oven as well. Brilliant, brilliant. They've gone in. Indy, has yours gone in the oven? I'm back. I've come to check Your in with everyone. Back. He's back. He's you to check in. That you've actually done an unbelievable know. job. Indy, what are you what are you snacking on there? What have you got? You eat some cheese. Is that is that your starter before the main course of pizza? Yeah. Are you excited? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually have any vegetables on mine. <laughs> oh, wow. Your dad's a nutritionist. I think Indy has uh, beaten everyone there. Lizzie, she was head chef. But I know, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. I need to hand over the chef's hat. No, Lizzie, you did a great job. So while the pizzas in the, are in the oven, we're actually going to spend this time to play a little game. Is everyone up for Ooh. a little game? Always. Yeah, are you sure? Okay, so the game is called Everyday Food Dilemmas. So I'm going to give you a choice of certain foods. And what I need is I need Lizzie, 
James, Wilbur and Barnaby, you have to tell us what one food we go with forever and what one food choice we remove from the earth forever. OK. OK. So you can only choose okay. one. And we need agreement from both groups. OK, boys. Are you OK. Up OK. Okay. So right. one one that we want to keep and one that we want to remove. We we'll never see it again. Never see it again. Okay. Exactly that. Okay. So yeah. it was quick fire as well. So we need to make quick decisions with this. Okay. So the first one, you got three choices. You got to keep one of them. Okay. So okay. you can have tuna mayo, tuna sweet corn, or tuna and cucumber. You got to keep one. Tuna sweet corn. Tuna and sweet corn to keep, definitely. Tuna okay, sweet corn. Fine. Okay, next one. We've got a sandwich filling theme for the start. I don't know why. We've got egg mayo or egg and cress. Oh, you egg and cress. <laughs> egg yeah, and cress. probably egg and cress. Really? really? No, right. no mayo fans here. Sounds like no one really likes that one anyway. So I don't think we can get rid of both of them. Next I'm happy one. to see both of those, Joe. Okay, fine. That wasn't a big problem then. Crunchy or smooth peanut butter? Oh. Smooth, crunchy. I, oh. I prefer crunchy. But I prefer smooth. <laughs> so, I mean, we need agreement here, so I don't know how we're going to get. Past okay, it. I'm I'm okay with smooth. I'm happy with both. So yeah, the world's a better okay place with peanut butter rather than none at all. Okay, just any peanut butter is a win. Okay, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Next one, yeah. cheese. Okay, we're talking cheese. So we've got cheddar cheese. You can either have mild, medium, or mature. Which one are you going for? Yeah, mature. 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 My worst choice is 80 because I don't like properly. Really? Yeah, I'll, I'll wow. get the majority of 70. You have got a very refined palate. I don't like either you still when I'm 28 years old. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, this is actually just a question, but we need an agreement. How do you layer your scone? Oh, jam first or cream? Jam, cream. Yeah. Um, yeah, jam, cream. Jam, yeah! I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Okay, fine. Jamie, I'll go this cream is bottom. a learning lesson for you. Are you just doing this? Yeah, yeah this is this from my okay, home. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> next question. We've got still or sparkling water. Surely it's obvious. Still. Still, still. yeah. Double still, right? Okay. Yeah. Next one, this is yeah. one maybe more for the kids. Ribena or Capri Sun? You don't know what either of those are, do you? Yes, <laughs> that's like every pet lunch dream. <laughs> I'm going, I go Ribena. I go Ribena. Okay, yeah, I go Ribena. James, are you in for that? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't. This is not going well for me. Okay, how about this one? Have you heard of a frube? Like a yogurt, the frube yogurt. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I think I think you're getting a blank from this household. <laughs> 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 Yeah, fruit yes. or a muller corner, you know, the ones that you crack open into the other one. Oh, yeah, interesting. Um, muller right? corner, corner for variety. You can get lots of different ones with that. Yeah, Why I'm going with that. Chocolate balls. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah you the might. ones with the chocolate ones. Yeah, okay. And then, do you know what my last one was, which you've ruined? Pineapple on a pizza, but instead we'll change it to meal deal choice. What is your sandwich? Crisp or chocolate bar and drink of choice. Sandwich. What flavour would you have? What flavour crisps would you have? Oh, I've got two. I've got two flavours. Actually, I'll roast socks. Roast, roast beef. Roast beef. Some. But you like prawn cocktail, don't you? Prawn cocktail. Is your oh, oh, interesting. That is impressive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow, Lizzie, what are you going? I bet. You, are you, are I'm like gonna go. Kind of person, no. I was gonna say ham and cheese, but I think I'd go like a chicken and chorizo, something like that. That would be a good, oh, good okay. sandwich. You're going high end, I, I, then. Yeah, I'm good for a ready salted crisp though. Don't need okay. anything fancy in, in that department. And then we'll go Ribena. Um, well, yeah, Ribena. Absolute failure. It was horrendous <laughs> in every way. But how are your pizzas looking? 
I'm gonna have a look. I hope really good. I hope really good. We're not burning or anything yet, are we? Don't. Hope not. How's that egg, Lizzie? I'm worried about that. Oh, that it's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, cool. So while whilst those pizzas it's a little are wibble just, wobble. Okay, yeah, no one likes the gooey white, so make sure you no, sort no. that out. Um, yeah. So I think it's probably about time that we asked maybe you and James a couple of questions um, relating to actually nutrition and your career as an athlete. So Lizzie, I guess um, from your perspective initially, um, how important was nutrition for you? If there's young aspiring athletes watching today, like is nutrition something that we really should be paying attention to? Yeah, it's so, so important for athletes. It's one of those things that it's, it's easy to almost forget about because we're so used to just eating food all the time and not really focusing on what's going into our bodies. But nutrition can make such a big difference to performance, whether that's sporting performance, school performance, everything that we do in our lives is driven by what we put in our bodies. So we spent years and years as athletes kind of learning and refining those um, food choices that we make to make sure that we're fueling our bodies correctly. So super, super important, not just for young athletes, for young people, old people, everybody, nutrition is super important. There you go. I think that you've heard it at first. Healthy pizza <laughs> are super important. And James, yeah. how's your pizza looking? Have you just pulled that out? Yeah, he's just got it out. Good great. work, James. It's looking pretty good. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Are you guys happy with that? Yeah. Yep. Success? Nice one. Okay, Lizzie, while your pizza's just getting ready, um, James, if I could just ask you a, a, a little question about, you know, kids, Lizzie's obviously just said how important nutrition is, but in terms of what kids should be looking to eat, like what would a good diet look like? Oh, plenty, just, I think it's plenty of variety, plenty of colour, so try uh -huh. to get lots of different fruit and veg in, in any way uh -huh. you can, so whether that's in smoothies, in, um, in, you know, hidden in sauces, or if it's just raw veggies with dips, things like that, just having lots of variety and trying to get as much colour into it as well, and then plenty of energy, really, just plenty of energy from lots of sources, you know, good, lots of pasta, potatoes, rice, things like that, um, lots of dairy products, so milk, yogurt is obviously really important for our bones to grow as well so lots of yeah. calcium in there for, for growing our bones and our skeletons so obviously they're growing lots and lots very quickly yeah. um, and then you know those sources of protein as well so it doesn't have to be heaps but just getting little portions of meat fish eggs in at our meals and snacks and things and just trying to get that balance where you've got all of those all of those foods at each meal uh, means that you're going to be getting what you need across the day really Perfect. Thank you, James. I think it's a variety is exactly what we need to be having, but making sure that you're getting the right amounts of each component is super important. I'm just going to see if we can check in with our. Oh, uh, Indy. I think she yeah. maybe pulled a little tantrum. I reckon she's, she's already demanding to be on camera right now, but I can't see a pizza there. Indy, what is going on Indy, with you? How's it going? Where's your pizza? Have you, got Have you eaten it? No. Is it still in the oven? I think it's in the oven. Is that what we're saying? Still in the it's oven. Been in the oven for ages. Do you know what? I think your mum is to blame again. She's letting you down. <laughs> in there. Okay, cool. While Indy's just getting that finished off, Lizzie, is yours nearly there as well? It's, it's nearly there. I think it okay. it might be ready to come Everyone out. Home, make sure you get your comments and questions in if you'd like to pass them on to James and Lizzie. Make sure you see the picture. How's that egg looking, Lizzie? Oh, it's it's good. looking good. It's still got a tiny little wobble on the yolk, but I think the, the white's cooked, so nice. I think we're ready to go. The ideal egg. All right. Well, if anyone has been following along, make sure you do send in your pictures. I actually made some pizzas earlier. Do you want to see them? <laughs> <laughs> That's so blue Ooh. Peter, Jamie. Here's one I made earlier. This is it's the most blue Peter thing. India, I brought you back in as well because I've got a pizza for you. Are you ready to see my pizzas? Okay. Yeah. I'll start off with Lizzie. This is your pizza. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, Do you like that? I like it's it. An L. Is it the right like one? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then James, for you, Barnaby and Wilbur. Oh, look, nice. Jay. That. Oh, I mean, it's for the household. So I've got Jay for you, all three of you guys. And then Indy, are you ready? Woo! You like it? Like Indy, are you ready? I like Indy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Are you going to say, let's get cooking again? Let's get eating. Yeah. Let's get I don't know what you do with that whisk. Let's get eating. There you go. In the, in the how does it look? Looks pretty good from up here. It looks, you ready, looks pretty yummy to me. I think Indy is ready to go. All right, Lizzie and James, do you want to just give us one final show of your pizzas? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Look at that, Lizzie. That is very professional. It's glorious. Are you happy with it? I'm very happy with it. I'm very excited. Look, look at that meat. These James have got their Barnaby. Oh, and that. You guys will be delighted with that one. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Everyone, hopefully you're now ready to go and eat those pizzas. We're already tucking in, which is exactly what you should be doing at home. So hopefully you enjoyed your, this session today. Please do let us know how you got on. Lizzie and James, thank you so much for your time. Barnaby and Wilbur, you guys nailed it. Enjoy your pizza. And let's see if we can get a little wave from the official Bye, star. Indy. Bye, Indy. Bye, Indy. Bye, Indy. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Enjoy your pizza. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.